Hello everyone, welcome back to the Game Theory Fundamentals episode 12, Evolutionary Game Theory. Evolutionary Game Theory combines the principles of Game Theory with Evolutionary Biology, focusing on how strategies evolve over time within populations of interacting individuals. It models how other organisms with different traits or strategies compete and reproduce, leading to changes in the population's makeup over generation. Here are the key concepts. Population is a group of organisms with varying traits or strategies for interacting with each other. A game represents the interaction between organisms with defined rules and payoffs like survival or reproduction. Strategies are different ways organisms can behave in a game like cooperate, compete, or deceive. Evolutionary Stable Strategies or ESS are strategies that, once dominant in a population, cannot be invaded by alternative strategies. Let's take a look at an example. The hawk dove game is a fundamental model in evolutionary game theory used to understand how competition and cooperation can coexist within a population. Imagine two animals competing for a resource, like food or territory. Each has two strategies. First is hawk. This strategy involves aggressive fighting to win the resource. A hawk wins against a dove, but might get injured fighting another hawk. A dove. This strategy involves retreating and conceding the resource to avoid conflict. A dove loses to a hawk, but avoids injury. Here are the payoffs. Each strategy has associated payoffs or benefits. Winning the resource provides a high payoff. Losing gives low payoff and fighting might incur an injury cost while avoiding conflict might actually share the resources. The hawk dove game offers valuable insights into the interplay between competition and cooperation in an evolutionary context. It demonstrates how they can coexist within a population. Hawk represent the competitive strategy while doves represent the cooperative one. The game show how these strategies can balance each other out under specific conditions. The payoffs in a hawk dove game depends on the composition of the population. If hawks are too common, fighting becomes costly, favoring the doves. Conversely, with too many doves, hawks can easily exploit them. This highlights how the best strategy depends on the prevalence of the other strategy. The concept of evolutionary stable strategies stated that when the proportion of hawks and doves reach a specific point, neither strategy has a clear advantage. This stable state discouraged the invasion of alternative strategies. In evolutionary game theory, strategies for interacting with others like cooperating and competing are considered heritable traits. Natural selection states that organisms with traits better suited to their environment are more likely to survive and reproduce, passing those traits on to future generations. So by learning about evolutionary game theory concepts, we are able to further explore the essence of natural selection that acts as the engine driving the evolution of strategies within a population. So that's it for today, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode about tragedy of the common. Till then!